Hi, this is Keith the Hungry Snorlax looking at your door for a special, special, special video. We're getting very close to that spooky time of the year, Halloween. So I thought, what better time to look at the top five creepiest Pokemon? Now, you might be surprised with some of these because you might think, oh, that's cute. But when you listen to their backstory, it will really shock you. For example, maybe one of the ones that isn't so spooky but is still kind of spooky is like Ghastly. Although Ghastly isn't that scary, he is a ghost after all and he does spook people. But he isn't even on our list. There are some much scarier Pokemon. Right, well let's start anyway. Aren't there Keith the Hungry Snorlax? Yes, you know, you know that my little, little Munchlax friend. Let's see. At number five, we're going to start with Yamask. Now this could be controversial because some people would just say, oh, it's a sad, sad Pokemon mourning, mourning its death and remembering its former human self. But come on, a spirit carrying around a mask of its dead self, that's very creepy. Why would you carry around a mask of your dead face? The mask gives me a chill. Um, anyway, it's it's a Generation 5 Pokemon, and most people don't like it anyway. So. But some people do like it, so don't. So we'll say sorry to any of the Gen 5 fans out there. Yes, we will, I know, but you know, we're just saying, but still, carrying around your dead mask, could you see those eyes looking at you? That would scare me. Anyway, at number four on our list, we have Bayonet, which is, if you look at it, it's a creepy doll with a zipper face. Originally, it was supposed to be a nice doll, but it was thrown away. Now this is the, the uh, and it has it evolves because it starts off a shop, it doesn't it? Yeah. The little ghost, and then it evolves into bayonet. Yeah, well, that, that, this is the thing, isn't it? Because you've got to worry about what what they're saying because it's it's said to live in a garbage dump and it wanders about in search of children who threw it away to curse it back. Now this is the very very creepy bit about it. Um, bayonet is its very own voodoo doll. It pushes pins into its body to create strong curses. A voodoo doll. How scary is that? Very scary. I've got the creeps. Oh no! Right now. So now, anyway, voodoo. There's a theme here with voodoo because uh, number three, there's another one that could give me the creeps. But it's not about the voodoo. It's about what it looks like. Well, people think Mr. Mime's very creepy looking, but compared to this next Pokemon, Mr. Mime is as cute as Eevee. To be honest, there aren't that many scary Pokemon for me. I'm like that person who doesn't have it. Especially my brother, uh, Sam the Hungry Munchlax, who uh, is basically not scared of any Pokemon. The only Pokemon he's scared of is Golbat because he doesn't like blood-sucking Pokemon for some reason. Right, so anyway, you're all waiting to say which one I'm going to talk about. Well, some of you might have guessed. The Pokemon that is my third creepiest in, on the list is Jinx. It's very ugly. And it does a weird dance and has a very creepy face. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the name Jinx could be related to voodoo. I wouldn't want to be cursed into being trapped in a room with Jinx. No siree! If you're interested in my other videos, you may also notice that Jinx is in my top five least favourite Pokemon videos. So if you're looking for fun, you should check that video out. Like and subscribe. Oh no, Jinx, 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 what's next? Oh, here we go. Wait a second. I... Wait a second, like and subscribe Keith the Hungry Snorlax, what's going on with you? You never said that ever in one of your videos. I know. I bet Sam the Hungry, is it because Sam the Hungry Munchlax has been getting annoyed at you and getting in a right argument about all this. He's been telling you to like and subscribe, oh, the way to get all these views and stuff. Maybe because it's near Halloween, maybe he's possessed my body and, and actually said that. Oh time. no, that's creepy. Very creepy. Anyway, back to the list. At number two, we have... Gengar. Well, we had to look Gengar. At the, ha, 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 ha. We had to look at one of the ghostly ones, and, and normally, like, he's like a bit of a ghostly trickster. However, before being a spirit, it is said that Gengar was once human, and it's a bit lonely, and it tries to create a kind of Pokemon pal. But the way it does this is by stealing the life of a human mm. through its shadows. Beware of the shadows, as the next victim could be you. Ah, dear. And now, the number one one. And this could be a bit of a surprise. <clears throat> because when you look at it, it looks very cute. Do you want to know what the my creepiest one is? We'll give you a clue. It's a balloon that ha looks like it uh, has a weird pear on its head. Yeah, it's true. Well, it's, it's Drifloon. It's a, it's a blue 
Stone as a child think it would be cute. But if you look at its, its history and, and hear about it, Drifloon drags children away to the afterlife. That's right. It kills children. It murders children. 